Well, good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us for uh, Robustus, which is uh, an initiative by All India Muslim Schools. Uh, it's, it's indeed a very good initiative. Let me introduce myself. Hi, my name is Asif Beg, and uh, talking about me, I've been a host for at least about uh, 3,000 events around the world, uh, corporate sometimes, been a part of IPL, sometimes World Cup as well. And uh, when Mr. Omar uh, uh, reached out with such a wonderful initiative, I was more than honored and privileged to be a part of this uh, wonderful initiative. Firstly, I would like to uh, congratulate uh, All India Muslim, Muslim Schools uh, for creating such an initiative of bringing in all these scholars, mentors, and different set of people, educators, owners of the school on one platform. And uh, this is one of its kind uh, event. And I feel really privileged to be a part of this uh, wonderful event. And people have joined us from different parts of uh, the world, not just in the country. We've got more number of people joining in. So nevertheless, Thank you so much for uh, all the ladies and gentlemen, the brothers and the sisters. I see a lot of them who's uh, already joined in. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to welcome you all <coughs> here for uh, Robustus 2021. This is uh, one of its kind of uh, first edition and uh, we're about to begin with the event. For now, ladies and gentlemen, kickstarting the Robustus <coughs> 2021. So we've got the first speaker, a ah, very impressive personality who's uh, going to talk on Islamic schools or Islamic education, the impact it would uh, have. He is the trainer, motivational speaker at Oval Education Academy and at the same time um, trained good number of corporates uh, traveled around the globe. Ladies and gentlemen, we are privileged to have him. May I request you to please welcome uh, Mr. Obed Khan as our first speaker for the event. Mr. Obed Khan. Alhamdulillah. Wa salatu wa salam. Ala Rasulillah wa ala ali ashabi ajmeen. Amma baat. Auzu billahi min ash-shaytuani rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Wa kul rabbi zidni ilma. Rabbi shrah li sadri wa yassir li amri. Wa ahlul uqdatam min lisani yafqahu qawli. I welcome all of you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. It is a great honor and a privilege to be among such elite audience, the educators of um, our country. Alhamdulillah. I first of all thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and uh, even thank uh, the robustest team, uh, Umar Bhai, uh, for having me here. So my topic is Islamic school or Islamic education. The topic should actually be Islamic schools for Islamic education. According to an article in prtworld.com on 25th October 2019, the news report said that uh, three Muslim faith schools, that is three Islamic schools, topped the British government's ranking of secondary school performance among all UK schools. Imagine among all UK schools, the top three schools were the Islamic faith schools, the Islamic schools. First of uh, the pack was Tawhidul Islam Girls High School in the northern English town of Blackburn, followed by Eden's Boys School in Birmingham, and the third is Eden Girls School in Coventry. The Secretary General of the MCB, Harun Khan, from UK, he said, credit must go to the teachers, the parents, and of course the students for this wonderful achievement. And I would like to add even the management. So can we repeat this performance in India? The theme of this conference is uh, the role of Muslim schools in India. So the role will be perfectly played by such professional Islamic schools who are striving for excellence. Inshallah, we hope and pray that even we can very soon repeat the success which the Islamic schools of UK had. Allah has taught us a dua in the Quran, in Surah Al Furqan, chapter number 25, verse number 74. Allah says, Oh my Lord, grant us wives and children that may be comfort for our eyes and make a pattern for the righteous. Islamic education is very important 
because it is for our children whom we love the most we wish that they become successful in this life and in the hereafter we wish that they become righteous practicing muslims pro active members of the ummah and the society they should blend with the mainstream of this country and they even be- become the comfort of our eyes and they even become sawab e jari of us so islamic school play an important role in this endeavor what is the purpose of islamic school the aim of a school is to transmit a set of beliefs values morals knowledge from one generation to the next islamic schools play the same role with an islamic perspective the purpose of islamic schools is to provide islamic knowledge along with academic knowledge the aim of islamic education should be to connect the abd with his rabb the slave with his creator the education which does not connect the abd with his rabb is no education at all it is misguided around 15 to 20 years back there were a very few islamic schools but the last decade or so we have seen a sudden spurt of islamic schools alhamdulillah it could the trend the slogan was taleem dono jahan ke liye education for both the world and there is a growing interest and awareness among parents and educators regarding islamic education but unfortunately many islamic schools if not all a few islamic schools have you know, performed excellently so many schools if not all they have not met the standards of islamic education taking advantage of this trend many schools projected themselves as full fledged islamic schools although they failed to maintain the expected standard of course the niya is not to be doubted the people who open these schools who run these schools the niya is not to be doubted the efforts are there the niya is there but unfortunately we have not met the standard we have brought a poor reputation to islamic schools in this country we don't see the products we want to see from islamic schools the dynamic personalities the good practicing muslims full of tarbiya we don't see the products overall we have failed to uh, perform in the field of islamic education in terms of providing infrastructure in terms of developing the content in terms of curriculum planning in terms of maintaining teaching standards in terms of blending with the mainstream education we have not performed well is it not important to analyze the reason for this failure there are three main components of islamic education and i you know you might uh, hear many speakers many speakers inshallah in the course of this conference who would give deeper insights as far as i analyzed this problem i found that there are three main components of islamic education taleem muallim or talib ilm education teacher and the student the significance of education allah prophet peace be upon him said talabul ilmi farizatun ala kulli muslim the obtaining of knowledge is compulsory on every muslim is obligatory on every muslim what comes under education maybe your infrastructure maybe the content the books the resources again maybe the integration of islam in other subjects in all these are aspects of islamic education and according to experts the reason 
or one of the main reason which uh, why we have failed in doing tarbiya of our children in islamic schools is that we have not integrated islam in other subjects so here we are lacking and the islamic study subject it is the usp of islamic school the unique selling point or unique selling proposition it is a factor which differentiates an islamic school from other schools a well developed comprehensive age appropriate islamic study subject is one of the main criteria to judge an islamic school to judge the performance of an islamic school to judge the professionalism of an islamic school the comprehensive islamic study subject covers aqida tafsir of the quran seerah of the prophet fiqh history of islam heroes of islam seerah of the sahaba morals and manners of islam so many aspects are covered by this islamic study subject but unfortunately many muslim schools lack in providing a proper islamic study subject in their schools you know just by teaching the quran reading alif ba ta or teaching some duas or teaching the the namaz ka tarika alhamdulillah it is good something is better than nothing but is it enough but is it uh, does it match with the promises which we have made in our brochures in our pamphlets if you see the brochures of islamic schools we have promised the moon so much but if you see many islamic schools they lack islamic study subject a proper islamic study subject so this comes under education so if we all educators the teachers the management if we pay attention to this aspect of talim then inshallah our schools will improve the second point is muallim the teacher we can give talk for us together on the significance of a teacher allah's prophet peace be upon him said khairukum man ta'allama alqur'ana wa 'allamahu the best among you is the person who learns the quran and teaches it to us but we find that we compromise on teacher college we may have the best infrastructure we we may have uh, you know the best uh, content the best resources but teacher many schools compromise on teacher quality we want budget teachers and the teachers we have most of the teachers are disillusioned overloaded unhappy and that may prove detrimental to the school's progress a happy content teacher is the best human resource an educational institution can have the third is talib e ilm the student the hadith says allah makes the path to jannah easy for the one who walks upon a path to obtain knowledge parents play an important role in the tarbiya the basic tarbiya of the children before they send the children to islamic school they follow all the rules they follow all the instructions of the teachers of the islamic school of you know for example uh, prohibiting social media or mobile phones to the to, to the kids and in my 12 years of experience i have seen alhamdulillah many excellent students who have performed amazingly in an islamic school and the common factor was good parenting the parents were very concerned about their islamic education so again a major role is played by the parents of an islamic school in the tarbiya of the children and even the management the teachers the caretakers of the school they have to have a connection with the parents to get better results so the proper combination and rendering of these three aspects will give excellent results the role of management is crucial now there are 
the management has not opened a business venture they have not opened a shop okay this is a school this is a place where knowledge is imp is imparted now it is their responsibility to check to inquire to take care of the teachers of the parents of the infrastructure of the content of the resource one of the main the main crucial role is performed even by the management so these are the three components and inshallah if we uh, render if we take care of these three components inshallah even we can repeat the success of uk muslim schools and i am thankful for the ai ms platform i am thankful to umar bhai uh, to have you know provided yeah. us all educators a platform where we can interact where we can share our expertise we can you know share our resources and inshallah hope for a better future for islamic school so the next talk inshallah uh, i pray and i wish the topic would be not islamic schools or islamic education but islamic schools for islamic education thank you thank you very much assalam alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Waalaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. What a wonderful talk and uh, a very good start, uh, ladies and gentlemen, by brother uh, Ubaid Khan, who happens to be a motivational trainer, come across a good number of uh, kids whom he's uh, trained around the globe and uh, in his own academy as well, and uh, come across a good number of parenting training and all those things. Uh, in fact, highlighted some very good uh, points. Uh, importantly, getting the parents engaged. he's seen some of the students who's performed really well who's outperformed in fact those kids parents were very much engaged in the upliftment or the development of the child i think management plays a very very crucial role here wherein we try to figure out the ways where we can keep the parents also engaged and involved in different activities which would indeed firstly uh, as a layman uh, i'm i'm an anchor hosting different set of events as a layman if i understand if a parent is putting the child in islamic school 100% he has a concern that he wants his child to be uh, inclined towards allah subhanahu wa taala so he's interested to give time as well so management will have to play a really strong role to make sure they rope in or keep the parents engaged motivate them so that they give little time for uh, the kids upbringing which indeed would support the school 